Listen, it's almost done. It's been a long ride. You've been a good boy. Oh yeah, and you've been a very good boy. It's almost there. You've been very patient. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You've been very patient. We're almost there. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. What a long day. I know. I didn't like it either. I didn't like it either. But you know what? It's going to be worth it. Let's go. Okay. Now listen. You're home. You're home. Are you ready for an adventure? Huh? I'm going to take such good care of you. You're going to be fine. Welcome home. Welcome home, sweetheart. You ready to check it out? Okay. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Huh? Be excited for your adventure. This is probably where you're gonna run. You're gonna run right here. That's where you're gonna work on your, that's where you're gonna work on your running. Uh huh. We're gonna practice. You and me. You ready? Welcome to excitement. Come on, baby boy. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't be scared. Be excited. Welcome. Come on. This is your home. I know. All right, come on. Meatball, 3D, you have been so patient. You have been so patient. Ah, oh, baby, we're almost here. Ah, oh, baby, we're almost here. I know, I know. It's been long. All right, let's get gasoline. So we have $22. So it's about eight o'clock in the morning right now. Get up there. There you go. All right, you ready? Let's go. Anyway, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. We've been riding since 2.30. I know, baby boy. I know. You know, 8 a.m. is also about the same time that we went to the vet that morning. You know, we drove all, all day long into the night and then in the morning. So I show up at the vet with no appointment. And, uh, you know, it's the first time we heard the words cerebral hypoplasia, which I didn't know what that meant. But I walked in with no appointment and the, uh, the veterinarian said, I hope you didn't pay a dime for this dog. Like, well, I kind of did. Kind of traveled far to get him too. And she said, because he has cerebral hypoplasia, a form of cerebral palsy for animals. And my first, my first question was, is this something that we need to test for? And she says, look at him. And you know, we drove all day slept all night but it's the first time i really looked at him and could see that the caboose was undeveloped see that he was twitchy and meatball also had seizures you know it was a lot so yeah. well i always say stupidity can take you over a lot of bridges so without any knowing anything i just thought well i'll take him home and fix him Oh yeah, we're gonna get you strong. Mm -hmm. There you go. There, a little exercise. Huh? We gotta see you walk. We gotta get these back legs strong, okay? And it's a long hallway. We need these back legs strong. You hear me? We need these back legs strong. These back legs need to get strong. These are not working too well. 
these are not working too well, but we're gonna work on this. We, we, we're gonna work on this little boy, okay? Okay, this is, this therapy's going wrong. This is not good therapy. Because I created an online environment, people would slow down his videos. People who, a South African doctor that specialized in cerebral hyperplasia, showed the displacement in his back leg, turned me on to the idea of acupuncture, doggy acupuncture. And for six months, Meatball had ouchy, sticky needles. No, 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 no. It's okay, baby boy. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. I know. Almost. I know. Almost. Okay. It was rough. And the crazy thing is, when things were at their worst, and we were at our most confused, I would take a cute picture. I'd pose Meatball in a way. He couldn't walk. He was limping. And I'd take a cute little picture. So... It was almost like pretending, but that I could control, you know. And then what happened is during that period, Meatball developed a, a very incredible loyal audience who had knew his story and cheered him on as he walked, celebrated him when he ran. And it was very endearing to see a community grow who that really cared about Meatball. So, people say thank you for sharing Meatball, but the fact is, there's a lot of them to share, and I couldn't imagine not, you know, because in there is a story of value and worth and to never give up, right? Yeah. Meatball, we have to drive a little, and you are almost there. No. All right, Meepo, we've really arrived this time. Uh, Meepo, oh, I know. What a long night. I know, I didn't like it either. Who's ready for vacation? Thank you. 